um, as you kind of picked up the structure of this, we have our project browser set up to display first uh, discipline. So coordination, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, that is called discipline. So in the section view, you see here, it says the discipline is mechanical. It's under here. And then, and, and the disciplines, coordination, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, etc., those are hard-coded into Revit. I can't create another one that says mechanical Disney or anything like that. Uh, that just is what it is. Subdisciplines, I can create as many as I want. That's what, what, that's what we just did. We just created a new subdiscipline called underscore user Disney. Um, that's under the discipline. And then under that, we just have things organized based on uh, type of view, so floor plans, sections, that sort of thing. So I've come in here and I've created a floor plan. That's good. I've created a couple of sections. That's good. Uh, but I also need to create a 3D view. So the thing about Revit is that it's basically impossible to model anything in 3D. If you try to you know, run a duct or something in a 3D view, it's likely to go somewhere off in space where you don't want it to. So you, need to, you basically need a model in a floor plan or a section view. In, in, in 2D views. But in 2D views, it's almost impossible to see what's going on. Um, I mean, you can, you can think you know what's going on by looking at this stuff, but you really don't. For example, I'm looking here. There's no way for me to tell just by looking at it that these air terminals are actually where, where I want them to be. They could just as easily be sitting on the floor as be sitting in the ceiling where they ought to be. Um, I can look at the offset and that helps, but still I don't really know where the ceiling is because I can't see the ceiling because I'm in a 2D view. So model in 2D, but look in 3D. 3D views, uh, you should always have 3D views. As you're modeling, you should have at least one, I, or I recommend two 3D views that you have up that you're using to look at the model and check things out. So uh, let's set up a 3D view. Uh, let's see if someone else has a nice 3D view that I can steal. Um, I think I'll steal this one. I think this is Emerson's. Yeah, that looks fine. So I'm going to steal Emerson's view. I'm going to duplicate it. Going to rename it. Disney working 3D, and I'm going to put it on my subdiscipline. There it goes. And I like having two 3D views. Uh, one in which I have the links on, so that I can see architectural and the structural elements, and then another one in which I have those off, so all I see are MEP stuff. So I'm going to make a quick duplicate of this. And in this one, I'm going to turn links off. So I hit VG to go into visibility settings, which we'll get into uh, in more depth in a second. VG, Revit links, and I turn these guys off. Uh, so this one I'm going to rename and call Disney Working No Links. And this one I'm going to call Disney Working 3D with links. And so as you're modeling, um, management of your views is kind of a skill that you pick up to be fast, do things right the first time, and be able to model quickly. Uh, having two monitors is basically a must. Um, and then, you know, it's basically just a matter of experience to be tabbing between these, uh, working in a floor plan, you know, modeling some duct, checking it out, checking out where it is. So you can see I highlighted the stick of pipe in this view, and then I can go into my 3D view and zoom in on it and see exactly where it is, look at its height, look and see if it's bumping into anything else, looks good, and, and, and go from there and check it out in this model as well, see if it's bumping into anything. Uh, nope, looks good. 
so that's that's kind of the workflow. Have all of these views up and use them uh, in your in your exploits working with stuff. So that's how to set up your views.